That's good. So it's come take. This is all free, right? You can get to know a little bit about Islam. Um, you know, basically, a lot of people don't understand the concept of what a Muslim is, right? A Muslim is not a certain nationality. It's not somebody from a certain country. Anybody who submits their will to their Creator, that's a Muslim, right? It comes to the word Aslama. So that's why Jesus, Moses, Abraham, they're all Muslim because they did the work. They submitted themselves to their Creator, right? So the Islamic belief is not a new belief. It's the same belief that's been since the time of Adam till today. Believe in one God. You know the Bible much? Are you? Yeah. yeah. So, so you know the first commandment, right? Um, Hear, O Israel, your Lord is one, right? I Don't? know the Bible, but I'm not like super. Right, right. Yeah, but, but I mean, if you think about that, right? The first commandment we know that there's only one God. Right? The second commandment, don't worship idols, don't worship false gods, right? Yeah. That's the same as the Muslim belief. It's the same belief that all the prophets brought, right? But the thing where you see like Christianity go a little bit different is when they start considering Jesus the physical son of God, right? But you know the Bible, there, there are a bunch of people called sons, right? So if you look in, for example, David, in, in, in the Psalms of David, you have, I will declare the decree, the Lord has said to me, to David, here, you are my son, today I have begotten you. Right? But that doesn't mean he's a physical son of God, right? It would be more maybe a, a, a matter of uh, spirituality or, or a figure of speech. Like even today, like some older guy could come up to you and be like, hey son, let me talk to you. But it doesn't mean you're DNA related, right? Yeah. So this is where Muslims uh, have the pure belief from the earlier time, which is that we don't believe Jesus is a physical son of God. We do believe a miraculous birth of Mary. We believe he was a prophet, somebody who sent with guidance. But as we see even in the Bible today, even after the corruptions and changes, he used to worship God, right? So if he's God, like who's he worshiping? You feel me? Yeah. yeah. So how do you how do you like the concept, man? It's an interesting concept. I've yeah. never heard it like that before. Excellent. So here, this is a kind of an intro book about the one message of Islam. Um, this is an excellent beginning book. It's all free, so you know you can you can get to know any any questions that you came up with or ever thought about asking. You know you have this chance. It's not Fox News, man. You're in front of a Muslim, so yeah. <laughs> you can ask uh, anything you have. Yeah, I agree. Like I like I don't really know much about like Muslims, but I know like the media makes them look way Yeah, worse yeah. Well, you know, I mean, that's the job of the media is to get ratings, right? So, yeah. like, if, you, if you're if you sitting there watching Russian news, you think Americans are crazy. You know, if you go, I, I watch RT News sometimes, and it's a Russian news channel, and they make they make a lot of things here look bad, which are not true, right? If you if you watch, like, if you're sitting in Cuba watching their news, I'm sure, you know, they, they make us look bad or whatever. It's just so the bias of the media. It's, it's the bias, know? it's the hype. I mean, even if you watch Fox and CNN, you, you would think you're seeing two different worlds. Yeah, you know, right? they're so different, but they're talking about the same thing. The same thing. thing. Right, but that's the great thing about stages like this that we can, we can sit and talk, we can clear up those misconceptions, we can build those bridges, we can know what's reality from the spin, you know. So, so anything that you may have heard that you want to ask about, ask away, man. Back for you. You know, to keep the ball. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Anything else you need? I think I'm good, but it was nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Have a great day. Come back when you have more questions. Oh, well. Assalamu How are you doing? somebody who's not religious. I was raised so, as a witness, so I'm kind of... Oh, wow, you were a JW, huh? Yeah, they kicked me out. <laughs> yeah, they kick a lot of people out. <laughs> yeah. um, so basically, our pitch is not really about Christians or not. We believe there's one creator, and sure. that creator sent prophets, right? right? Yeah. No, so totally get that. Okay, good, there you go. So, right, we don't believe those prophets were sons in the literal sense. You can say maybe in a figurative sense, right? Like you may say, hey, son, come here, right? But you don't mean that they're biologically your kids, sure. right? Yeah. So we believe in Moses and Abraham and all of those. We believe in that one creator. We don't believe you have to go to a priest to confess. We don't believe that you have to be a part of any cult or, you know, whatever else. You know, you want to pray? Pick pray. On the yeah, hey, man, <laughs> you, you, you already passed that. So that's why we can say that, right? Look, you know, you pray, pray directly to your creator, right? You want to know what your creator said? 
read directly the words of your creator. Don't read something that was written in Kone Greek and then changed in the Council of Nicaea. And if you were JW, you know about the mistakes in the Bible, right? You guys are the one that taught me. Well, let me ask you this. I'm, I'm generally familiar with like, I'm not Islam. If, if I wanted to dive into into the Quran a little bit, just excellent curiosity. Where should I start? Um, the Quran. There you go. Here it is. Well, right, but I mean, start at the beginning, go to the end. I mean, what's the sure? I mean, we we have books like this that you can take as an intro. Okay. I'll put it in a bag for you, right? But well, I tell you what. Before, can I give you like a contribution? Is there any? No, 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 no. We're good. We, we, we just, we just, we just. We, none of us get paid. We just do this. We believe in what we're doing, right? Sure, but I mean, to cover so, the cost. Of printing don't worry about it. No. It's on me, bro. And I got you. You know, this is a good intro for you. Um, you know, just little things to kind of get you going. And then dive in from the beginning. Just start reading from the yeah, beginning. Yeah, Read to the end. Any questions you have? You in San Diego? Uh, no, I'm not actually. But where, uh, where are you at? Chicago. Oh, Chicago. I mean, a lot of Chicago people today. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's interesting. I'm not the only one. Yeah, so if you want, you can take the number of one of the brothers. If you have questions, you can ask them or find any mosque in Chicago, whatever you like. Right? I appreciate it, man. Thank I appreciate you. it, bro. Much about Islam already? or? I know a little bit. All right. I have some friends that are. Excellent. Muslim. Excellent, excellent. I used one. To have a Quran, but you can have one. It's all free, bro. This is a small pocket size one. This is Spanish. This is English. Um, you know, anything you want. It's all free of charge. We're just here to build some bridges. You know, uh, call people towards uh, the oneness of our Creator. You know. Thank you. Have a good day. All right. Alhamdulillah. Assalamualaikum. What about you? Not yet. Almost so. getting there. <laughs> uh, I have been hesitant, I guess you could say. Uh, so what do you uh, what do you know already? What are you hesitating I've about? I've been in for five years. Uh, somewhere, I don't yeah. know. Maybe in the yeah, like he introduced it to me. Nice. I grew up with a lot of Muslim friends. Oh, that's good, man. Like, I, they tell me about it. I expand my knowledge. Excellent. I read about it. Excellent. So, I know it's right you down, but it's like... So what's it's, stopping you? I don't know, man. <laughs> so let, let's talk it through. So you have, you have a Quran already? I do not. Oh, there you go. Which... This is uh, I want one that's like dummy down so I can understand. These it. are these are all simple. I mean, the Quran we only have one Quran. It's just different translations. This translation is easy to read. You know, it's newer English, but you know the Quran is the Quran. I mean, all Muslims have the same. Yeah, Dr. Mustafa Khattab, very good. Go for it. Um, and all this is free. I mean, any any books you want, take them. But since you already got Muslim friends, man, you already got basics, man. So you you know there's only one Creator, right? You know that creator is not going to have kids, not going to kill his kids and all that kind of nonsense, right? Yeah. I and mean, we've already passed all that. So, so you have the belief, you know? I mean, life is life. Life is never going to be an ideal time, right? But if you already have the belief, you have to profess it. Because what if you die in a state that you do know the truth, but you haven't accepted it? And you don't want to do that. You know, and you never know. I mean, you're young, you're healthy. But, you know, you could be driving right now, truck goes on the wrong side of track, hits the car. I mean, you know, I, I got I got people I grew up with that, you know, died at 12 and 14 and 16 and stuff like that. So, so there is no guarantee how long you're going to live, right? And when you know something to the truth, profess it. And then it, then it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a struggle. I mean, it's, it's a step-by-step -step process. You got good brothers around you. Start with your prayers. Start slowly, slowly. You don't have to tell your family if you don't want to. I mean, you know, Richard, uh, this brother here, He's Mexican, he became Muslim here with us, and you know, his family had a very hard time with it. Victor became Muslim here at the same table. And now, like that's my biggest life. Yeah, but you know what, what happens then? Like we had one brother took the Shahada last week, uh, Gio, right, Giovanni, Mexican. And he was like, I, I, I'm worried about my family, right? Even in the, in the video, you'll see, but SubhanAllah, he went home, he prayed to Allah, he went talk to his family, they drove down from LA Wednesday with his dad, and his dad wants to become Muslim now, yeah. you know? So Allah will use you to guide your family, you know? And, and take it easy, like, you know, at least accept what's the truth. And then slowly, slowly start that conversation with the family. Slowly, slowly, you know, if you want to hide it for years, it doesn't matter. Nobody's forcing you, you know, you, you take it at your pace. But how can you know the truth in your heart and not accept it, you know? You feel me? I mean, anything with the core belief of Islam that you're not comfortable with? Um, no, it's true. No, I, I understand everything. Like, I've been going to church recently just to expand my knowledge on other religions and stuff. But, like, yeah. 
deep down it's like I mean I look, don't understand it but like when I go to church it's like that doesn't really make sense to me exactly he tells me something I'm like obviously I know it makes sense right, right? <laughs> so, so look at this right this is my personal Bible right and you can tell that I've yeah, read I've it quite a bit it. yeah but I just want to show you one verse here right John 17 3 and when I used to go to church and Bible studies when they read this I was in shock right here it says and this is eternal life that they may, and it's the New Testament, right? It's John, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. Right? So when I, when I was in church and I read this with the pastor, uh, and this is called, it was a place called Horizon, you know, it used to be this church group on Wednesdays. I was like, wait, 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 wait. So there's only one true God, not three, and, and right? And they're like, no, no, but three is one, right? Like, okay, but, but this actually says that, that they may get to know you, the one true God, and Jesus whom you sent. So it's excluding Jesus from the one true God, right? And they're like, guys, oh, that's the Father. Like, okay, so the Father is the one true God, not Jesus then, right? And then, the, get out. <laughs> you know, that's the kind of thing that would happen, you know? So you, you know the contradictions, you've seen the videos. So, so when you talk about, I mean, let's just think, where are you from? I'm from Minnesota originally. Minnesota? All right. I'm in the military, that's why I'm out here. Uh, so you've traveled around and stuff, yeah. right? Think of it just from a pure, basic human logic, right? I'm from San Diego, like I mean, I'm yeah. my family's from Pakistan, but I mean, I was raised out here. And if they say that Adam ate from a tree he wasn't supposed to, like I understand, okay, like let's say you're in Minnesota and there's a little shop and you know, some little kid walks in, you tell him, hey, don't, don't touch anything unless you pay for it, right? And he's like, you know what, I want that candy, right? So he, he's not supposed to take it, he takes it, puts it in his pocket, walks out. Right? So Adam eating from the apple when he, or, you know, according to the Christian, they say apple, but we have no evidence for that. But anyway, now when he comes out, let's say he wants to repent. Like he's like, his parents find out or he tells him, hey, you know, I took this, I shouldn't have. So Adam wants to repent. He did something he shouldn't have done. He goes back to the store owner, God in the scenario, right? And says, you know what? I did something wrong. I want to repent. And the store owner tells him, no. Nope. Because of you eating from that tree, you're a sinner and every child that you have will be born a sinner. Like, yeah. Like, 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 did you, when you were a baby, did you do anything wrong? So why were you a sinner? You were a baby, you were just born. How can you call, like if you see a little innocent child, like in Islam, we say that born is, that child is innocent. You can't even hold him accountable for his deeds until he hits an age where he knows right from wrong. You know that makes sense, right? No. Let's say you're, you're, you're born a sinner now, this crazy concept. But how are you going to get rid of that sin, right? So you're like, oh man, I'm going to be a sinner. All my kids are going to be sinners. Like, whoa, like, how do I, how do I fix this? So I was like, I got an idea. There's my son, really good kid, you know, perfect kid, perfect human being, lived a perfect life, never lied, never stole, straight A student, volunteers, help people, kill him. You're like, wait, wait, let me to kill your son? Yeah, 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 but I don't want you to just kill him. Torture him first, you know, put up thorns on his head, make him carry, you know, whatever gun you're going to kill him with, make him carry it. And then from then on, wear the little gun that you killed him with on your neck. <laughs> the crosses, right? Yeah. Like, like, how does that make sense? How would killing God or the son of God or God himself or God and his son or whatever confusion there is, how would that cure sin? That should be a bigger sin than eating from a tree, right? Islam, we don't believe none of that. There is Adam, he was the first man, no doubt. Allah created him with his own hands. He did something as a mistake. Right? He made a mistake, he repented, Allah forgave him. How, how, doesn't that make sense? Like if you're a good person and I wrong you by mistake, like, or, or I make a misjudgment, right? You tell me, hey, uh, can you hold this ice cream for me? And I misunderstand that to me that if I eat this, it's gonna be really good. I eat your ice cream, you're like, whoa, bro, I just told you to hold it. I'm like, oh my bad, right? As a good person, what are you gonna do? Forgive it, right? And God is better than us. God is more merciful than us. God is more forgiving than us, right? But if you're like, whoa, you ate the ice cream, kill my son. <laughs> right? So this is the beauty of Islam. It's a fitrah. You have it in you already, right? One creator created you, created him, created him. No differentiation. No white man with blonde hair and blue eyes being considered God. And God made him in his image, so God must be white. Like none of that nonsense, right? If you're white, black, Chinese, doesn't matter. Whoever is more righteous is closer to God, right? Doesn't that make sense? Yeah. Prophets to every different nation, white prophets, black prophets, Arab prophets, non-Arab prophets, no discrimination, no chosen people, none of that kind of stuff. So if all that makes sense, you're Muslim already, man.
Let's do the shahada, man. Let's do it. Today's the day. You don't have to. You don't have to tell your family. You've got the belief already, right? You profess it. Nothing changes except now you're a Muslim, officially, right? And then you got good friends. Slowly, slowly they'll teach you. You can work together with them. How to tell the family? How to tell? How to deal with the situations? We got brothers here that are, you know, in the same boat as you. Take their numbers. They can talk about their experiences and how they dealt with their family. You're in the military. You're traveling anyway, man. You're not there. It's not like they're going to see you praying and stuff, right? As you get slowly, slowly there, you will become the means of guidance for them. Man. I wanted to at least experience. Like we were going to go to. They told me about a class or something yesterday. I want to Look, experience that first. I'll tell you what, man. I have classes and you're welcome to all of them, right? Don't wait for that, right? Because what happens is, as you know, in life, the Satan, uh, he tries to get you to procrastinate. Uh, That's a really good translation. Yeah, feel free. Really These are all free of charge, right? So there don't let that be a, a, a means of Satan trying to get you to procrastinate the truth. If you have the belief, profess it. Then there will be classes till the day you die. I'm a student of knowledge. I've been studying Islam since the 90s, right? Late 90s. And I'm still a student. And I'm still continuing and going forward, you know? So we'll, we'll, we'll invite you to all the classes you like. But if you got the belief... Right. We started talking about this like... Back, yeah. Should I tell him? It was like three years ago. Three years. Excellent. Excellent. That's wonderful, man. Yes. Yeah. For us, we don't have any pressure on you. You know, take your time. But the only thing is, I can tell you've already got that belief. You know. Can I have one? Yes, please. It's free. Go ahead. So. Yeah, I, like you said, yeah, I, I believe in but it's like, I, I just don't feel like ready right now. I, I feel you. Too much going on in life right now. I feel you. I'd rather want to like, obviously I don't want to hold it off for another two years when I get out of the military, but I feel like it'd be easier then. That sounds like... Look, I'll tell you what, right look, what, if you have the belief already, yeah. right, who do you, like when you, when you are going through a hardship, who do you pray to? Allah. Allah. Right. Well, I say God, but like, same thing. Like you pray to that right, one so creator. Sometimes it's like cause I go to church, yeah. Christian Baptist church. It's like, I, what do I say? Jesus, God. It's right. like, um, but think about it, right? Think about this. Next time you get that confusion, right? And then at the ninth hour, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, saying, Eloi, Eloi, Alama Sabachantanai, right? Which is translated, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? So who's Jesus praying to? So then why would you pray to Jesus? <laughs> right? <laughs> why would you not pray to that one God that Jesus prayed to, right? Look at look at how Matthew 26, 39. And he went a little further beyond them and fell on his face. He prostrated on his face and prayed, saying, My father, right? So here Jesus, I'm sure you've seen them pray, right? You see them put their head on the ground, right? Here Jesus puts his head on the ground praying to that father, the creator, right? So then why would you pray to Jesus? <laughs> you feel me? Right? So you've got the belief. You already pray to Allah. When you have a need, you pray to that one God. You don't, when you pray, you don't think monkey. Right? <laughs> There's people who worship monkeys. They pray to monkeys. That, that's a reality, unfortunately, right? You don't think white guy on a cross, hair long, blue eyed, right? You think the unimaginable. Nothing like him, nothing in comparison to that one creator, right? So you already pray to Allah. You already believe in Allah, right? If you do your testimony, nothing changes except now that you are a Muslim, right? It's not like you're going to have to go to the military and be like, yo, I'm Muslim now, you know? Like that's between you and your creator. It's nobody else's business. You feel me? So let me know when you're ready, man. If you're ready, we do the Shahada. You take your classes, you work with your friends. Slowly, slowly you learn how to pray, how to fast. All that will come in steps. Whatever you're not able to take on, you take it, you, you, you make goals for yourself. Okay, you know what? Uh, I can't be growing this cool beard yet. No problem, bro. Don't, uh, you, you'll get there, don't worry about it. I would have grown the beard, but... It's okay, look, look, look. You're in the military, no problem, right? 
Islam is so beautiful. Allah said in the Quran, He never burdened the soul with more than they can handle. Right? So whatever you can't handle, make step, make a plan for it. Like, you know, when I get out of the military, I'll go for Hajj, you know. I can't go right now. No problem. But what if what if you're what if you're waiting for these two years, right? And, and a helicopter goes down, or I don't know if you're in the Navy or what are you in the Marine Corps? Man, you're the you're the you're the hardcore guys, man. The, I used to go to school with some Navy guys. They called you bullet stoppers, man. <laughs> right? But you called them a bunch of taxis. So it's all good, man. <laughs> right? So what I'm saying is, you never know. You'll even live that long, right? And you don't, this life is a test. There's only one purpose in this life: to recognize your Creator and worship Him, right? Otherwise, look, how many people have you known throughout your life that are dead today? Right? Somebody, grandpas, uncles, you know, neighbors, whatever, right? Everything else that they worked for, houses, money, cars, careers, businesses, uh, you know, all of that's gone now. Like none of that matters anymore. The only thing that matters, did they die upon the correct belief or not? Right? So you, you want to take that chance, man? Uh, I do, but I don't feel like I'm ready right now. All right, man. Let us know when you're ready, man. No pressure. Again, I'm getting closer. Though. You're getting closer. My belief is strong. I'll say my belief is stronger than it was three years ago. Excellent, I'm, I'm excellent. Thinking. I hope it's stronger than it was 30 minutes ago, man. Yeah, it is. <laughs> right? All right. All right. So, anything that you may be like questioning, or anything that you want to know about? Just more knowledge about it, I guess. Like, Excellent. Yeah, what he tells me is like, that's oh, he's an excellent resource for you, Alhamdulillah, yeah. man. But anything that you want to ask here, we're here for, for you as well, man. Not necessarily at the moment. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, so you're stationed in San Diego right now? 29 All right, so you're... Three hours away. Oh, wow, man. That's a long drive. <laughs> yeah, but your family's all back in Minnesota? Yeah, they are. MashaAllah. Yeah, there's, a, there's a pretty good growing community out there, MashaAllah, man. Yeah. So when you go back, you'll have a good community to plug into, man. Are you going to stay out here? Uh, if I do get out, I'll plan to go to, back to Minnesota. Okay. Come on, San Diego's nice, man. No, it's nice. <laughs> Half of San Diego came me. here in the military. <laughs> Too big for you, huh? Like, nice. Yeah, the man. Traffic sucks. Huh? The traffic sucks. Actually. Yeah, it's true, yeah. You guys have a question? But uh, Minnesota's nice, man. I've been out there a few times, man. Yeah. Then you can go for Hajj, man. Go check out Mecca. Go check out where Abraham stood and where Ishmael and him built the house and everything that people talk about. You'll see it with your own eyes, man. Uh, but Alhamdulillah. All right, man. Let me let me know, inshallah. All right, inshallah. All right, bro. You bang out? All right. And anytime you're ready, we're here. All right. You feel me? All right. Pray to Allah. The Allah makes it easy for you. How you doing? Please, please. Go. Feel free. That's what we're here for. Build those bridges. You have any questions? No, not right now. That's pretty much what I want to see. Excellent, excellent. Find out for myself. Thank you so much. Excellent. Have a great day. Assalamu alaikum. It's fun, man. Yeah, alhamdulillah. Mm. So that's why you always see Christians. Sí. En español. Hablo español. Español. Sí. Por qué? It's a bad yes. translation. Ese es uh, muy bueno. And he was a Christian. Sí. Para un Islam. Ah, ok. Sí. Español. Sí. Hablo inglés o en español? Español. Español. Muy bien. En Islam no hay Dios sino Allah. Uno Dios. Eh, es Muhammad es su profeta. Well, Jesus is prophet, no, no hijo de Dios. Ah, yeah. Dios no hijo, no hijas, no esposa. Sí. Todos en español, el mujeres. Es español, también. Es blue one, sí, muy bien. Sí, es eh, en español o oh, español también, sí. Gracias. Es el un Corán en español. Nadie. Hola. Poquito, poquito, ¿eh? Sí. Poco, poquito, poquito. Muy bien. Muy bien. Buenos días.